Hey guys, so in this video we are gonna look into a very famous kind of vulnerabilities uh, which are logging based vulnerabilities, right? So yeah, let's uh, take one of the app which we have. Jam, I think I have a very old version of the Yahoo Messenger app, right? So what do we do first? We let's go and install this app on my uh, device, right? So let me take this app. There you go, I've installed it, which means it should appear here now. So here you go, we have the Yahoo Messenger app. Right, let me click on this, right? And um, yeah, now how do you, um, you know, spot this logging based vulnerabilities? How would you do it? The first step I would say is, uh, you know, try to have a look at the log cat, right? So in this case, um, it's going to be uh, so the Yahoo Messenger app over here, I'm not going to log in, but I'm just going to give you a taste of how would you do it, right? So let's start with the ADB shell, right? ADB shell and PS, which would list out all the processes. But in my case, I would want to get the process ID of my Yahoo app, right? So let me grab for uh, Yahoo, right? When I do that, I understand the process ID is 3443, right? Now, let me go down to my logcat and let me grab for this particular process ID which is 3443 and there you go this is the whole information or this is the whole um, log which has been uh, created for just the Yahoo right now you know I'm sure you will have to have a bit of patience to go through each of these to try to understand if the app is trying to write something um, you know uh, something which is very uh, personal right if it is writing some confidential information to the um, to the uh, logcat right because logcat is something which is accessible to all apps right and if you can spot um, you know something sensitive being written to the logcat then I can create another vulnerable I can create an attacking app right and using that app I can retrieve all this information secret information from the logcat and you know kind of create a havoc for the user right so this is the first step is what I would say right I'm not going to do it here right now I'm just showing you the process you can try it as well right so this is one piece of it uh, the other part or the other way to do it would be the static analysis kind of a way of doing it right so how would you do that so let me stop this log cap So the static analysis way would be to uh, uh, first use, first decompile the app, which is using my APK tool. Let me do it using APK tool first, right? So uh, what's the name of the app? It's ym.apk and let me probably put it under a folder called Yahoo. Okay, my bad, I just put Yahoo K. Okay, that's fine. So I just decompiled using the APK tool. There you go. Now I'll go to the folder which is Yahoo K and let me grep, right? I'm basically gonna grep for every single file. Recursive grep, this is going to be, and I'm gonna grep for log.d because that's how you log, you know, in Android, right? So I'm gonna do that. So there you go it found so many files where I'm actually trying to do log.d, right? You can see here. So if you look at, uh, where do I ls? So this is, uh, let me do, right? So these are the files actually, which got decompiled when I decompiled the app. And in all these files, these are the places where the log ID is seen. So this is one way, right? Um, where you can go through this particular, uh, you know, uh, information and try to see if the app is trying to log something sensitive to the log cat. So this is one way of doing it. Another tool which I would suggest using is the JREX rule, right? So the JREX, how do you use JREX? So JREX basically converts again your DEX file to the Java, right? So uh, let's try using JREX, which means let me go out of this. Let me probably delete the folder which I created just now. 
I would not want that anymore right so there you go so let's uh, now use jdx right the command is going to be jdx the name of the app which is y i am dot apk the output folder is going to be probably let's create another folder which is yahoo there you go so now the jdx will start running right you can install jdx it's free right so it will give you all these warnings and all of this but once it completes right uh, we can run the similar kind of a uh, uh, recursive search for the log.id and again get the information as well. So these are different ways of doing something very similar, right? Because at the end of the day, these are different decompilers, so they're going to decompile it in a different way, right? So I would suggest using multiple of these decompilers to try to see if you can get some information about it, right? So it's still happening, give it a minute, should be done. So this is completed. So now let me go down to the Yahoo folder and let me run the recursive grep. Right on all the files. Right. So when I do this, there you go. So something similar what we received earlier as well, we have got it again. Uh, and you can see the log.d happening. This is giving me a more better view is what I would say, right? You can see a lot of information is getting logged to the, uh, you know, logcat, right? So this this is another way of doing it, right? You can either decompile it using uh, JDEX, you can, or you can decompile it using APK tool and then try to do a grep for log.d to find if uh, the app is writing something uh, very sensitive like probably like session ID or tokens and so on and uh, try to see if that is happening right so because that would be a very big vulnerability right so this is another interesting uh, 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 you know way of you know starting with your pen testing of an app so I would start with doing the logging based vulnerabilities because it's a, they are very easy to spot right uh, thank you for watching do tune in for more videos.